SpaceX's spacesuit is most likely influenced by science fiction, with CEO Elon Musk saying in 2017 that the business may have drawn inspiration from sci-fi simulations like Halo and Mass Effect. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Tech World for another trip into space with us. The most famous space talk these days is about how Elon promised NASA to reduce its spacesuit requirements. The reveal of SpaceX's latest spacesuit is expected later this year, so stick with us till the end to learn some awesome facts related to this. Let's hit the road. Elon contributes to NASA. So let's start our talk on how Elon expressed his willingness to design spacesuits for NASA. Elon Musk offered SpaceX's services to help NASA make its next-generation spacesuits after a watchdog report on Tuesday said the agency's current program is behind schedule and will cost more than $1 billion. SpaceX could do it if need be, Musk wrote in a tweet as a reply to the statement. You might already know that Musk's company has developed and made flight suits for astronauts who launch into orbit in SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft. And the best thing here is that NASA did say that the spacesuits have a multitude of different components, which the Inspector General noted are supplied by 27 different companies. That's a point Musk also highlighted, saying in a tweet that it seems like too many cooks in the kitchen. He was more likely to express that he could do it all rather than give parts to many companies. But we still have to see what decision NASA makes. Before we move on deeper, let's first see what a spacesuit is and what they can actually do. Spacesuits. So what do you guys know about spacesuits so far? So this is the basic explanation of what a spacesuit is. A spacesuit, also known as an EMU, is a suit worn by astronauts to keep them alive in the harsh environment of outer space, which includes vacuum and temperature extremes. Spacesuits are routinely worn within spacecraft, as a safety precaution in case of cabin pressure loss, and they are essential for extravehicular activity, EVA, or work done outside of the spaceship. Modern Spacesuit Now let's see how the modern spacesuits evolve to what we have now and whether they will become the basis for Elon's next great creation. Modern spacesuits add a complicated set of technology and environmental systems to the basic pressure garment to keep the user comfortable and reduce the effort necessary to bend the limbs while fighting the natural inclination of a soft pressure garment to stiffen against the vacuum. And there are three main types of these suits. Do leave a comment if you know them. And wait till the end of the video for the answer. SpaceX's take on spacesuits. Let's see what SpaceX thinks about the spacesuits and what their goal is in creating them differently than the ordinary. Currently, the spacesuits used by astronauts at the International Space Station are rather ancient. SpaceX began constructing a spacesuit for astronauts to wear inside the Dragon 2 space vehicle in February of 2015. Jose Fernandez, a Hollywood costume designer known for his work on superhero and science fiction films, and Elon Musk, the creator and CEO of SpaceX, collaborated on its look. The suit's initial photographs were released in September of 2017. During the Falcon Heavy's first flight in February 2018, a mannequin named Starman, after David Bowie's song of the same name, wore the SpaceX suit. The suit was not pressurized and had no sensors when it was unveiled at the expo. The suit, which is vacuum compatible, protects against cabin depressurization through a single tether at the astronaut's thigh that feeds air and electronic connections. Microphones and speakers are included in the 3D printed helmets. The suits are not used for extravehicular activities since they require a tether connection and do not provide radiation protection. In order to familiarize themselves with the spacesuit, NASA commercial crew members Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley tested it aboard the Dragon 2 spacecraft in 2018. However, their principal function remains the same, to protect crew members against depressurization, which occurs when the capsule loses air. The suits also guarantee that astronauts have enough oxygen and can maintain a comfortable temperature. A single umbilical wire in the seat hooks into the suit and provides a communications link and breathable air. The spacesuits already beat any of NASA's own designs, but, be that as it may, we do need to look at the competition SpaceX has. 10 suits from which SpaceX draws inspiration for their next creation. 
So let's now talk about the 10 spacesuits that SpaceX takes inspiration from in order to create their ultimate high-tech spacesuit. Some may be centuries old or simply theories and designs, but I dare say that they are wonderful creations nonetheless. As for number one, we have the Retro Mercury spacesuit. SpaceX's first crewed launch, Demo-2, bore a retro callback on the Falcon 9 rocket that took it to orbit. NASA revived its iconic WARM logo, retired in 1992, to commemorate the return of human spaceflight to U.S. soil. The surprisingly functional spacesuit from the Martian is at number two on the list. Matt Damon had to spend so much time in his spacesuit during the filming of The Martian that the helmet featured an air pump system as well as lighting and communications gear. It's an instantly recognizable spacesuit, meaning it wouldn't be a great surprise if SpaceX were to take inspiration for its own design. At number three, we have the pressure suit, A7LB used for Apollo 17. NASA has awarded SpaceX a $2.9 billion contract to take the first astronaut crew back to the moon by around 2025. Here, we have Yuri Gagarin's iconic SK-1 spacesuit as number four. It wouldn't be right to leave out the first human to launch into space. Though ties between the United States and Russia, and even between Musk and Russia's space agency president, Dmitry Rogozin, are strained as a result of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Gagarin has a prominent place in spaceflight history. To be sure, drawing inspiration from such an early spacesuit may not be the best choice, but the SK-1 kept things basic and accomplished its mission brilliantly. The manned maneuvering unit is ranked fifth. Another iconic and recognizable spacesuit is the one worn by shuttle astronaut Bruce McCandless in February of 1984. Using the jetpack-like manned maneuvering unit, or MMU, he became the first astronaut to float untethered in space. Are you ready to learn about three different types of modern spacesuits? So here's the answer. A self-contained oxygen supply and environmental control system are often deployed to ensure complete independence from the spacecraft. There are three varieties of spacesuit. IVA, intravehicular activity, EVA, extravehicular activity, and IEVA, intra and extravehicular activity. Now let's get back to our list. NASA's experimental AX-5 is at number six on our list. NASA's experimental AX-5 spacesuit is nearly identical to the Baymax robot from the cartoon film Big Hero 6. Because of its weight, it is unlikely to have progressed beyond the prototype stage, although it does allow a startling range of movement. According to the Smithsonian, the spherical, toroidal joints enable astronauts in fettered mobility, closely equaling that of a human not wearing a spacesuit. The acronym AX-5 stands for Ames Research Center. Experimental Suit Design The interstellar spacesuit looks quite similar to SpaceX's current spacesuit the Starman suit. It certainly looks functional, fitting in with the director Christopher Nolan's realist take on the sci-fi epic. They even feature small thrusters on the arms for a quick boost. In the eighth place, we have the 2001 A Space Odyssey spacesuit. Perhaps this is the most iconic spacesuit in cinema. The suit worn by space travelers in 2001 A Space Odyssey is synonymous with the Stanley Kubrick movie's combination of wonder and horror. They're pretty colorful too, which makes a surprising change from the monochrome space attire we're used to seeing in real life. The Sunshine spacesuit is on our list at number 9. While we're not really suggesting SpaceX take inspiration from the spacesuit used in the underrated sci-fi Sunshine, it comes to mind due to the fact that it was supposed to protect astronauts flying dangerously close to the sun. Aside from flying the first commercial spacewalk in history, the Polaris Dawn mission aims to reach the highest altitude in Earth orbit ever flown, flying to a peak altitude of about 870 miles, which is three times higher than the International Space Station. As the final inspiration, we have the first moonwalk spacesuit. We couldn't finish this list without the mention of the spacesuit used in Apollo 11, the A7L. The five-layer, torso-limb suit with convoluted joints has gone down in history thanks to its use in several Apollo missions, including the Apollo 11 moon landing. 
it may be a little too old-fashioned now for Musk's sci-fi tastes. Still, it wouldn't be surprising to see a reference to perhaps the most iconic spacesuit in history, especially as SpaceX and NASA aim to get back to the moon and then use it as a stepping stone to break new ground by reaching Mars. So guys, this is the end of our video. So what do you think about Elon Musk's goal to make the world's best spacesuit and all the inspiration he can get from fiction and experience? Tell us what you think about SpaceX's attempts to create the most advanced spacesuit ever seen in our comments section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the like button if you like our video. So guys, until our next one, stay safe.